So I can't stand this being in bare metal. Even though I'm replacing this door and I'm probably not gonna use it on this car, I might use it for something else in the future. And until I do that, it's in bare metal out here getting exposed to the elements with flash rust. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna buzz it really quick with the DA and spray some paint on here. What color am I gonna go with? Find out next. Okay, you guys, obviously this is not a professional job by any means. This is just a quick 10 minute fun backyard dealio and I'm including you guys in on it because you know what? I do these random projects all the time and I don't actually ever document it. And I don't know, maybe no one's gonna watch this video, but if some of you do, you're watching this right now. So let's see, what am I gonna go with here? I've actually got people right now live on Instagram voting on what color between red, gold, green, black, and silver. This car, as you've seen, has already got blue, uh, like a burgundy, some green, some black, some gray for the primer. What should we do with it? I can't bear to see this bare metal just dying out here in the elements. Look at it, surface rust, right? So anyway, we're gonna buzz it really quick with the DA. Got some 240 paper on here. Really, I'd rather do probably a 120 right now, but it's fine. It's enough to put a little scuff, get that off of there, and we'll spray a little color. Do a quick mask job, and I'll show you all that right now. All right, we got the compressor rolling inside. Get this paint out of the way really quick. This window rolled down, so we don't have to spray it with any paint. Window actually tracks pretty good still. Cool. Okay, let's do a little quick mask job. We'll uh, mask off this door handle, lock, top part of this window, and this A-frame window here as well. Then I'll put some blanks and stuff around the rest of the car. Mostly the glass is what we care about. The rest of it, if it gets overspray, oh well. So when you're masking, obviously we don't want to get paint on any of this rubber or the metal above here. And this metal from the door kind of rolls under. So we're going to get the tape just barely tucked underneath it like that. And uh, kind of press it on there as we go. We'll give the paint no room to escape onto the rubber. And like that, you can see. So now that paint can roll over the edge of the metal, but it's not actually going to come underneath and get overspray on that rubber of the window. Key to masking in a professional sense, of course, is your overlay on how much you're kind of uh, laying one layer over the other, making sure that there's no gaps obviously between it. You don't want that paint getting through because that's the whole purpose of what we're doing. I'm just being real precise about it, but here obviously we're not because we're just messing around here in the backyard. Giving you guys a quick little down and dirty. When it comes to masking tape, 3M Yellow Automotive Masking Tape is my favorite. This stuff rolls pretty good. Obviously, 3M has different versions, different colors, like the green is a little bit more flexible for pulling lines, but for general masking, for priming, and even in some painting, it's, it's really great. It's really good, actually, even for random jobs, too. Like, it's super sticky, it holds really strong, it bonds to a lot of surfaces, and it doesn't, um, doesn't wear out in weather. The worst thing is that some masking tapes do if you're familiar with them is some of them after a few weeks on something when you peel it off it kind of leaves a real sticky goopy residue this stuff never does that um obviously it's a little more pricey than your regular kind of tan masking tape that does that but you get what you pay for so i love the yellow 3m masking tape and again got green and different colors too that do different jobs but for general purpose masking for automotive stuff and around the garage and even in the yard this is the stuff right here Okay, so now for this guy, we'll just kind of lay him on there, right on that edge, and pull around. Like that. I'm not being perfect here, doing just enough to make it look backyard decent, if that's even a thing. Now, if 
we left this open right here, even though it doesn't look like it, paint is gonna creep up and get on that glass and chrome underneath. So we're gonna seal that off, making sure obviously we cover both the tape and the paper towel. Come on, you know. Oh, this thing's golden. Waterproof at this point. Up here, likely to not get some overspray, but we'll cap her off. Again, this is a quick down and dirty backyard job, but let's still protect our lungs and be a little safe about this, all right? Just a little bit. Oh, there, tiger. aiming to do as you can see is just pull that surface rust right here this orangey surface rust down make it stick a little bit better <laughs> Okay, that's pretty much it. Quick little buzz. Ooh. Quick little buzz down. We'll wipe this off real quick and uh, let's spray. Okay, that'll protect a little overspray from the windshield and over there. Any little dust and it gets on it, I'll wipe off afterwards anyway. We're just gonna spray over here and have ourselves a good little time. So let's get a respirator on. Be safe about this. And this is a metallic too, so it's gonna look cool. We'll wipe off before we do, just to get some dust. Rusty dust off of there. Give her a go. Let's see here, we'll start up in this front section. How about that? So it's a little translucent at first because it's over bare metal. With no primer, it won't show up, but you see it show up a lot better down here. So we get a second coat on it. It'll look a little better. Hell yeah, gold. Gold member. And there it is for the quick 10 minute little backyard job to protect the metal and just put some color on it. Cool. Obviously those little VHT cans, they spray out a super fine line. So it's almost impossible to get a nice even spray out on this thing. Of course, you're going to see a million little streaky lines on it. And uh, again, here I am trying to justify a 10 minute backyard paint job to you guys. But regardless, I think it's cool as hell. We'll unmask it, show you that, and then we'll be done. And I'll help flash it off, because it's like 55 degrees here today. Utah doesn't know what it wants to do. It was 80 the other day, it's 55 to rain. What are you gonna do? Someday I'll have a paint booth back here.
Let's do our very diligent job of unmasking this car. Delta used to give away these blankets when you flew with them. They were awesome. So, Delta, get back on these blankets. I need more masking blankets. Got some crumbs in my paint. Jesus. Unmasking a car is always very satisfying for a number of reasons. One, you kind of know the job is done, or at least the job that you're doing. Two, you get to see the results of your work kind of all finished out. It's like opening a gift, a Christmas present. So there you have it. Here's your little back job, hack job, paint job on the 69B. So you might be wondering, Frank, why waste your time doing something so menial like this? Well, the short answer is I'm crazy and I love my cars, okay? And I've already started to build a very special bond with this car. It's starting to sound like I'm not gonna be able to sell this thing. Don't tell Alex. Um, I don't know, I love these cars. And the more time you start spending with them, the more nuts and bolts you pull off the thing, the more you pull off rusty old parts out of it and shovel water out of the water-filled trunk because it's got no drainage and mess around with parts on it and clean rat poop out of it and change body panels and add this and that. You really start to develop a relationship with these things. And I think those of you watching that work on cars and love them the way that I do understand the exact thing I'm talking about. It's just, it's an addiction. It's a love. You just love cars. We love these things. so. Anyway, off my high horse rambling about why I painted gold paint on this door today. If you made it this far in this video, you obviously want to know because you stuck around. And for that, I thank you. We all thank you here at Finale Restorations because without you guys watching our videos and supporting what we do, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next crazy Finale video. All right, we rolled the window back up. Call that a job. All right, so this is the day after a rainstorm and I did not cover this car on purpose just to kind of see how bad it would be and kind of also show you guys. And you can see there's a good three to four inches of water hanging out on the bottom of this trunk floor right now. So we'll pull this stuff out real quick, get that dried up and I'll get a nice cover on top of it and keep more water from getting in there. But that's why brand new metal like this, you can see has rusted out in little to no time. You don't want to do that. Always protect your cars and cover them even as a project. Anyone up for a 69 Dodge Super B swimming pool? I uh, hope you brought your tetanus shots. Since this floor is likely gonna come out anyway, and if it doesn't, it's supposed to have holes in it for drain plugs. So let's just make our lives easier and I can always weld this up down the line when I actually redo it. And there you have it, drain plug o -matic. Now that's a little better. I mean, it's really not, but whatever.